Hi and welcome to Expondo Gastro Experts. Today we'll be continuing with promotion and image and we'll be talking about three ways to promote your food truck. My name is Michał Orłowski. Let's have a look. Right, so first, as always, let me remind you, this program is being streamed live. So please use our live chat, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, if you have any questions, just drop them on the live chat. Uh, the more questions there are, the better we will cover the subject, which today is, again, um, three ways to promote your food truck. So I already had an expert on Friday, uh, so you kind of confirmed what I was already thinking. Um, and the problem is huge because like you know especially in gastronomy and hospitality industry and especially if it comes to food trucks uh, I've seen uh, promotion marketing is uh, highly underestimated so uh, what people are saying are, um, like basically the um, starting costs are so high uh, and there's so much to do that you know promotion marketing isn't that important especially in case of food trucks where you're going to visit one particular city uh, if you're driving around, of course, uh, once or twice a year, only for one up to maximum three days. So, um, let me tell you, um, it's totally wrong thinking because this, the, the sooner you start your promotion, the higher are your chances you're going to have a queue on a day one. So, uh, in no other industry, and I keep repeating it um, every time, all, all over, every single episode we're doing, uh, no other industry like this is like gastronomy where the start is so important. Remember, you already invested in your uh, wages for your um, staff. You already um, invested in your food truck, into, into creating. You already invested in the logo and naming and everything. And you already bought the ingredients. So basically, uh, you already bought the food in and you need to keep rotating it. If you don't have customers, the all, food, all the food, it's all perishable items, it will go to waste. So it's really important to have a great start. Uh, generally, hospitality industry is kind of unpredictable, so the higher your chances, uh, the better for you. Uh, the better it is to start and to keep developing. So uh, we already spoke about it, how to use those uh, social media and what it gives to you. Uh, let's talk about platforms that you can use. First of all, it's Facebook. Uh, Facebook is becoming more and more important. It's like a couple of years ago, uh, people were thinking if you're not on Google, uh, you do not exist. Uh, nowadays, they're saying the same thing about Facebook. And that's actually your first step to make. When you have a logo, when you have a name, uh, and you have sort of an idea what you're going to be serving and how you're going to look like, uh, you can start promoting your business. Uh, Second thing is YouTube. Uh, YouTube is becoming one of the biggest, if already not the biggest browser uh, in the world. So before you go on Google, you t people tend to go on YouTube uh, to find a relevant clip to whatever, um, well, whatever you're interested in. So uh, basically the content on YouTube is kind of uh, really, really important. Um, then we have Twitter. Twitter is uh, not as popular, but it allows you to uh, just send uh, free messages, re short free messages uh, to whomever uh, you know uh, it regards. So, like people, if they're following, if they're interested in something, if you hashtag it, you're gonna get to them. Instagram also very important because it's like a p picture culture. So uh, it's easy to post the uh, content, people are liking it, people are subscribing, people are watching it, and you are in their faces with Instagram. And it's of course connected with YouTube and with Facebook, so that's really cool too. Because with one content you can basically spread on all these three medias uh, and reach uh, other and more customers, guests potentially. So uh, the next platform is LinkedIn, and that's a basically a virtual re resume, uh, which is also important because uh, people like you, like experts and um, entrepreneurs, can follow what you're doing in your place, can see um, your progress, can see what's going on uh, with you professionally. Uh, you can also find employees for your business through LinkedIn, uh, but the truth to be told, uh, how to make it work for you is basically to combine all these platforms together. 
So uh, it is not as difficult as it may seem. Um, it, it basically, you should use it because it's free. Uh, and you can do it yourself. And if you're really careful and um, just, just think of what you're doing, then it shouldn't be a problem at all, but it's really worth it. As I said, uh, you're creating a love mark. you basically encouraging people to see what's in your place, uh, to engage them in whatever is happening in your place, involve them in the life of your restaurant, uh, you know, your food truck, your bistro, cafe, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it is so important to get the people engaged. You can make, uh, you know, competitions. Uh, you can ask them for, uh, for their opinion if it comes to food or introduce your stuff. There's a lot of things you can do without investing a penny, except maybe some of your time. So uh, that's why creating a love mark. People will forgive you more if they like your place, if they've been involved in its development and, you know, expansion. Um, and again, uh, you increase your chances, I even if you go somewhere else, like, you know, for a couple of days only, if it's only a festival or a concert or whatever, really the reason. People will more willingly go to your place if they know something about it. <coughs> Generally, people looking at the menu, they pick stuff they already know. When they go to, in, into the city, they walk into the restaurant, they already know. Um, quite rarely uh, going for experiments, right? They rather have something they already know. All right, so that's basically the introduction of what you can do. I see there's questions coming in, so let's switch into question answer mode. All right, first, uh, let me answer some questions that came through uh, the email. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Susie. I run a food truck. Uh, I mostly attend events all over the country and rarely appear in the same place twice in the same year. Why do I need this free marketing? <coughs> um, it is the age of information, Susie. So people like researching places where they are uh, about to go. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me tell you on, you, on the, uh, an example. Basically, I've been working in this beautiful Italian place uh, next to the Opera House and next to the passengers terminal where all the cruise ships come in in Sydney. Uh, and basically, the first couple of years I've been working there, it used to be like a good 10 years ago, 15 years ago almost. Uh, so basically, uh, every time the ship came in, we were already prepared, ready to war ready for war. Um, basically every time the ship came in, uh, an hour later we had a full house, a queue outside. <coughs> we had a traffic control manager, so a person who specially just set down people, <coughs> excuse me, and sent them out in the city. So they come back and so on and so on. It was really booming, it was a hit. Every time the ship came in, we were so busy, we, we kind of exceeded the efficiency of the restaurant and the possibilities of the serving stuff and kitchen stuff. Uh, but in a couple of years, within a couple of years, it completely changed. Because people on a cruise ship, because they already knew they had like three or four days in Sydney most, they started researching places where they want to go. They just didn't want to experiment, they didn't want to make a um, bad choice, they didn't want to uh, have a bad experience, so they went through trip advisors, they went through Facebook uh, reviews, uh, they went through websites and they picked the place uh, they liked most. And suddenly our beautiful restaurant, which was really, really quite decent, uh, didn't have as many customers and we, we felt it. Like the first time we prepared for a uh, massive invasion and it just simply didn't happen. So uh, we kind of noticed, um, started paying attention to what's on, on our Facebook, to uh, what's the, what the reviews are, uh, and it wasn't that case before. So same with food trucks. Listen, uh, now everyone has a mobile device, a smartphone in his pocket or her pocket, so they can research you even when they're standing in front of you. So you just imagine a situation on a foot track festival or in a concert. You don't want to go into a place that is shabby or dodgy or you don't know anything about it. 
you'd rather not risk it and you go to a place that you actually know something about and uh, that is highly recommended, that has uh, valuable content on the website or on the fan page or uh, on a Twitter profile or whatever. Like, uh, if they have nice pictures, because you can research the food before you even buy it. So you just look at the pictures on Instagram and if it looks delish, you just go and buy it. If it doesn't look delish or you have any doubts, then you go somewhere else. So it's so important to, just to do uh, the whole marketing thing in, uh, in advance, just to make sure people know about you and you are in their faces. So it, it is really important even if you're cruising around. Uh, so if you think, or if you are uh, thinking, why do not, because they, they will not remember me. That's because there's no fan page. Let's say, just in, for example, <coughs> if you haven't invested enough time and effort into that promotion, then they will not remember you. But if you did, the, the chance uh, people will remember about you uh, is much, much higher. Therefore, you increase your chances for successful business. So, uh, Susie, it's always worth it, especially if you don't have to pay for it. From Alan. What content should you publish if the food truck hasn't been created yet? That's a very cool question. <coughs> uh, on the contrary to the common belief, uh, the marketing and promotion building should start way ahead of uh, opening the doors. Uh, so, let me just tell you. Uh, when you open the doors and then you start marketing and promotion, you are risking that you will not have the right start uh, that I was talking about. So you will not have a queue in front of your place, you will have, you know, people dropping by if they know, if they notice or nothing. So that, that's kind of important. Uh, if you start way ahead, uh, let's say the season starts at least in Central Europe around uh, April and you start bombarding people with news um, uh, already in December then there's a chance that in April they will already know. It's all about creating the so-called love mark. I keep repeating it. Uh, so basically what you should post it's look how many things happened. Like for you it's common knowledge. For everyone outside it's something very interesting. So look how many things already happened in your business. You've created a logo you've created the name, uh, you are creating the, um, the food items, so, so you're creating the menu, you're making trials, you're employing staff, uh, you're picking the right uh, food truck, uh, well I mean truck for your base, uh, you're painting it, uh, or you already painted it uh, if it's not, I mean like you know there's a thousand possibilities. Uh, these are all uh, things that you could have posted. Uh, it's basically uh, tying your customers with you, uh, letting them know what the progress is, asking them questions, involving them in the uh, life of the restaurant. So basically, um, first post, just show them, all right, we've created a logo, that's our new logo, uh, to tell us what you think about it. And then people will th say what they, what they think about it. That's your chance like if to, you know, to spot a mistake. If people are saying, hey, um, you know, are you selling alcohol um, and you don't? It means there's something wrong with, the, with your logo. Yeah, it's time, it still gives you time to rethink, uh, take some suggestion in, uh, suggestions in. Uh, so uh, this kind of stuff. Then uh, all the preparations, um, you know, pictures, how you're building it. Um, uh, as I said, introducing your staff members, showing how the training goes. Uh, again, showing menu items, uh, showing trials. So let the customers, let your potential guests know what you know what you're doing. Again, what everyday boring routine for you is is very interesting for all the others. And then again, they feel uh, compassion. Um, you know. Uh, sympathetic with all the uh, troubles and barriers you've encountered and they're happy with your, your successes. So by the time you are opening, you actually have a group of loyal followers who are very likely to visit your place on the very first minute you open the doors and they will follow you, uh, as in for real. They will go where you are just to try your food if it's really good. So absolutely, uh, all the content is good. If you're not offending anyone, 
if you're original with your posts, if you are, uh, you know, uh, being nice to people, then it will come back. Karma comes back. All right, Brian. Uh, is it better to do it yourself or outsource it? Um, all right, so this is a very difficult question. First of all, uh, if you do it yourself, it's for free. It only costs your time. So not really for free, but you're not investing any extra cash for it. Uh, and saying that, uh, be careful what you're posting and how you post it. Uh, sometimes you may achieve a um, so completely unwanted result in saying that uh, if you post a dish and it's very low quality and it doesn't look really appealing and appetizing uh, then it just might discourage people from buying from you because it will give a sloppy impression of your business people will look at this and say all right if they can make a picture right they're probably shabby in the kitchen too so you may do the best product uh, but uh, people will just walk by because they already have seen uh, a blurry picture. So you can do it yourself, provided you're actually good at it. Um, before you post anything, uh, get second opinions. Um, and as I'm saying, uh, it, all these platforms combined, if you do it right, it will actually uh, result in something really good, always. It will work for your company from the very start to the very end and through all that time in between for as long as it takes. So, uh, absolutely. Uh, then again, uh, of course, uh, outsourcing it for, uh, to a professional company uh, who does it for a living uh, absolutely uh, gives you a certain guarantee that uh, it will be done properly, that it will, they will take things into account, when to post it, what to post, how they look like, uh, like you know, they, they will uh, you know, work through the pictures so they look absolutely perfect. Uh, but again, that may be uh, quite expensive. But there's a couple of solutions to this. Uh, first of all, uh, a solution somewhere in between is a, uh, you know, these days there are lots of people doing it. Um, uh, there are lots of underaged or very young people doing it quite well, I have to say. Um, and they don't charge as much as a professional company. And for the starters, you don't need as much marketing and promotion, uh, so you can build on it. As in, start small and just grow bigger and bigger and bigger and start investing more and more time using more and more and more platforms. So uh, that's basically uh, the way to go. Or if you can do it yourself, make sure you do it regularly and you are really consequent in your uh, doings. Um, do not exaggerate, just build up whenever you have the budget for it, uh, you can outsource it or you can build on it. So uh, just do it step by step if necessary. All right, PCKL, uh, could we, does it work, make fake crowd and opinion rank on uh, social media? Uh, yes, you could, uh, but in case of hospitality, it, um, it's not the right way to go. Uh, first of all, if you start uh, early enough, you will gather uh, quite a huge group of followers um, uh, up to the day you actually start the business. So that's not a problem. It's better to build up in all honesty uh, and do not lie to your customers and guests because uh, these days it's actually quite obvious whether someone bought the followers or not. So first of all, if you have a local food truck, uh, that drives within a, let's say, 50k radius uh, and then you have a million or something followers uh, that is a bit dodgy and um, the people may check it out and when they see you have lots of different names not from the region and that happens quite a lot uh, they will um, instantly just disqualify you as a uh, honest entrepreneur. So, uh, honesty, that's the key to everything. Uh, better build up with your own, uh, you know, with your own power, with your own two hands, rather than uh, go for cheap solutions, uh, and because they may not be that cheap in the end effect. So, definitely, uh, I would go just for um, the normal followers, get, get, for the normal getting followers. All right, PCKL again. How to start generating followers on social media? Do we need to do something to gather viewers? Yes, absolutely, you need to post content. 
The only question here is, uh, what content do you need to post? And I've already mentioned it before. So uh, pretty much everything, uh, pretty much everything that you do, uh, just post it. And let me tell you a couple of examples. Um, on, in a restaurant that I've been working at as a head chef that I've been helping to create, uh, I wasn't thinking much of social media and marketing, uh, but my owners think, did, thankfully. Uh, so basically what happened is, uh, every now and then, they just walked by, walked by and made a picture how we installed the fridges, how we prepared the menu. Uh, I was still running around in my work clothes, um, you know, just doing stuff, you know, uh, sewing through uh, the doors just to make them wider. It doesn't matter. Uh, we did a lot of work in it. Uh, I didn't even know it happening. Uh, after a while, when we were supposedly to do the slow opening, I lift my head from my workbench and I see a queue of people, uh, hundreds of people just waiting to get inside. I couldn't believe my eyes because uh, we didn't do any marketing. There was no commercial, no advertisement, whether in TV, no radio, no uh, newspaper. Uh, we just did the normal stuff. All right, we're working, we you know, um, preparing for you. And people loved it. People loved the fact that everything was done by our hands. Uh, and, uh, you know, they just come in, they, sh they, they wanted to see it. They were, they were already so involved, uh, they felt the effort and they wanted to see it. Um, and another example from a uh, colleague of mine in Sydney. Uh, every day he posted uh, on Twitter a, a message that he's doing. Uh, the night bake, that you know, the product is already waiting for you, that the buns will be nice and warm uh, by 8 o'clock when the customers come in. And guess what? One tweet at 4.30 in the morning every day got him a queue of customers and guests every day in front of the, his door before he even opened. People were loving it because when they woke up, they had the coffee, they read the tweet that the buns are ready. Fantastic. That's the way to go. All right. PCKL, is it good to show the kitchen? Competition can use our solutions. Uh, listen, the competition already knows your solutions. Besides, uh, say I had this argument so many times, uh, I just find it really silly uh, because that honestly, everyone who worked in hospitality, everyone who was equipping a kitchen or a food truck or uh, any hospitality place, you cannot just take a draft uh, project and put it into uh, your place. Uh, differences in inches make the difference in the whole setup. Every place is different, every place has to be differently organized. If someone takes your solutions and implements it in their own business, uh, it may not work. So um, just let, let, let it rip, you know, just show your kitchen, just make sure you give an impression of cleanliness and um, uh, you have to give the impression that it's nice and professional, that the food is being prepared in top-notch conditions. People love it. Uh, besides, like, you know, if someone feels to, like he needs to copy you, uh, the better. I mean, copying is the best form of a compliment. Uh, so just let them. Uh, but let me tell you, the solutions are not universal. So if you go somewhere else and you see solutions, you think twice before you implement it in your own place. Of course, inspiration is great, but do not copy because it never pays off. Every place has to be treated uh, you know, uh, individually and it has to be uh, designed individually, like, you know, otherwise it will not work. PCKL again, uh, do we need to make uh, professional ads or amateur photos will be good enough? Uh, that's what I said. Uh, first, when you're starting promoting your business, amateur photos are absolutely fine as long as they are, they are um, ap appealing and appetizing. So they, you don't need to hire a professional photographer to do the pictures. Uh, for Facebook, Instagram and so on, it's uh, good enough if you use your normal phone. Uh, phones these days are uh, making pictures in high definition, high quality. Uh, so if you have the touch, do it yourself, post it. Uh, if you feel that they don't look as they should be, uh, then ask someone uh, who 
uh, who can do it, you definitely have a friend or a family member uh, who's better with a camera. So uh, absolutely, uh, amateur photos will be absolutely uh, good enough. And then later on, uh, when you keep expanding, keep earning money, uh, and then you have something extra, you may invest into a, a professional photographer who will make absolutely picture-perfect pictures. So, uh, yeah, why not? But that's not necessary on the starters. More than that, uh, if you make pictures by yourself, it will give that sort of feel and sense of uh, authenticity, uh, that these are actually made by a human being. Honestly, uh, it happens to me a thousand times a day that I see a picture of a dish and I already can tell that it didn't look like this when it's been created. Moreover, most of the pictures you've seen uh, on the internet are usually tweaked to make it to, to look that good uh, with different materials, uh, you know, shaving foam, whatever, uh, dishwashing liquid, and then age long. Um, you know, a session, photo session, just to make it look absolutely fantastic. So I'd rather have a normal picture and great quality. If it's appetizing, I'm cool, you know, I go for it. Um, all right, PCKL, uh, what we should promote? Food, looks, our car, crew, kitchen, everything. Yeah, that's the thing. That's exactly the thing. Uh, you post everything that happens in your place. Depending on the media, uh, just pick the content. So for Twitter, show messages for Instagram, uh, pictures uh, for Facebook, um, messages as in like, you know, posts. So you uh, combine message with a picture. Uh, then again, for LinkedIn, make sure you just post your uh, professional achievements, make sure uh, all the other professionals know uh, what's happening with you. Um, on, um, well, even Snapchat. Uh, I know it doesn't last long, but if you have a certain number of followers and you just do a quick Snapchat um, clip relation or whatever, uh, it will still do the job. Uh, PCKL, could we show customer's face? Uh, that all depends on the market you're on, so it depends on your country of origin. Um, there's different, um, you know, laws and rules, so you have to make sure uh, you check it in your own country. Generally, in a public place, when the people are, uh, have nothing against it and you inform them, you do the picture, uh, well, if they have nothing against it, you can post it. Um, but before posting someone else's face, you actually have to ask. All right, I see there's no more questions. So uh, let me just remind you, uh, if something comes up to your mind or if you want to tell us something about this particular topic, uh, do not be shy, write us on the email address uh, below. Uh, I also uh, encourage you to have a look through our archive materials uh, where we're talking about promotion and image building. I uh, also invite you to watch our next shows about um, product comparisons and of course we are continuing with the uh, food truck cycle. Uh, I thank you very much for your questions and I hope I see you next time.